Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. We have a brand new naval asset in DCS. It is the ARA Viente Cinco de Mayo. It is a Argentinian aircraft carrier and it's one I actually know something about. Previously, it was British, a Colossus class British aircraft carrier known as the 1942 design because this class was designed in 1942. And despite the look of her, the first vessels of this class actually were built and went into service in 1944 and operated in World War II. Once in the Argentinian Navy, she played a minor part in the 1982 Falklands War, but after the cruiser Belgrano was sunk, she was withdrawn to port. Now, the model looks great and it looks like a big hulking giant aircraft carrier but if i were to put it next to a huge american supercarrier she's actually very small and the colossus class was actually a light aircraft carrier interim design supercarrier about 100,000 tons colossus about 20,000 tons well, now we have her in-game, we have to do something with her. And we thought, what better introduction than to do a ridiculous GR-style landing skill competition. And to make it extra ridiculous, why don't we not use naval planes? So today, an asymmetric landing skill competition using land-based planes. It will be round-based, so we have round one, and then we go on to round two with harsher weather, round three with even harsher weather, and so on, until there's only one guy remaining. Usually when we do this, we do it with about 40 humans, but, but now because we have to work around GR Baby, we have to do it at very unsociable hours. So I've only managed to get hold of six humans, annoyingly. Hello, six humans. Oh, Hello, cat. Hello. I identify as a cat. Oh. Here are the aircraft you can use, guys, starting about five miles off the stern. We have an SU-25, an SU-27, a JF-17 Thunder, a AGS-37 Vigan, a Spitfire, a Mosquito, an F-16, a MiG-29, a MiG-21, a Mirage 2000, an F-5E, an A-10, an F-15C, a MiG-15, a Mirage F-1, and why don't we put this in? Another new asset from Razbam, F-15E Strike Eagle or Mud Hen does technically have a hook it's not designed for landing on aircraft carriers and if you try to land it on an aircraft carrier in real life you would smash it to pieces but as this is a one-time landing only we're going to go and give it a go welcome in i always go first because when i land and or crash i get to film the other guys obviously guys wish me luck here we go so in our f-15e strike eagle because why the heck not first thing i always do is turn the aircon off because we only have to survive a few seconds air brake out Hook down, check hook. Hook is indeed down. Right, chance of me doing this first time, 1%, 1.5% maybe. Gear down, flaps down, check. Aim for about 20 units of angle of attack, which you can see at the top left. Almost certainly will get wrong. Low altitude. Low altitude. Power on. <laughs> First time. Nice. Yeah, nice. guys. Right, Matrix, your go. Off you go. The map viewers, they friggin' did a thing. Just to remind you of the. Oh, it did damage my gear, but you know, what do you expect? If you miss, then go round, and you can go round until your 30% fuel runs out, at which point you will ditch into the sea and you are out of the competition until the next one. Next guy, spawn in Simba. The guys can be in whatever aircraft they want today, viewers, but because the F 15E is brand new to us, we're obviously going to use it, aren't we? You're going to ride the front seat? I can't. I'm watching. Oh, damn. I'll jump in on... No, just go, Simba, just go, because I don't want to mess up. I don't want to mess you up as well. So, Simba, you're doing this from the rear seat. A firm. Are you insane? Ah, oh, I figure, if, you know, people are going to fly the F-15s. Got to try it from the back. Be a little bit different. Yes. I don't know how you are going to see anything, but... Ladies and gentlemen, Simba. And all the people's champ. My God, that's a small carrier. Yes, right. It's basically a boat. Uh, speaking of which, Bird, you can join in. Oh, okay. Let's go on, Matrix. Yes! Two out of friggin' two. Well done, Matrix. 
Look at those viewers. Grim Reapers apparently best reapers. That's what I'm hearing. All up, viewers, if you want to see the diff size difference. Ooh, there's a big size difference. So apparently, according to Wikipedia, this could operate 52 aircraft. They must have been very, very small aircraft. Right, in comes Simba Wimba. And I quote, steering from the back seat for some reason. Pilot, you can go in. I'm still loading in. Huh. Push, you can go in then. Go around, go around, go around. Is she too heavy? Wow, did you see that, viewers? Simba scraped the water with his nozzles. You got enough fuel. 30% on that fuel will take all, on that thing will go all day. What's Bird in? Bird F16, talk us through your decision. Uh, I haven't got the F15 hook set up. Right, um, I guess that makes sense. Also, small carrier, small plane. Right, all these. High speed on a punch type. Yeah, right. Tiny wings. Unlucky Bird. He did everything right. These planes are 100% not made for this viewers. You could do it in real life, but you you know, you'd never be able to use the plane again because you'd bend the frame. Ultraviolet why that what are you gonna be in? The vegan. Oh Jesus Christ. Big bull friggin' violet and a vegan. And look how small this is compared to Supercarrier. There's no chance she's gonna do this. I literally mean no chance, Violet. I do fancy trying the mozzie. Huh. I might have a gun Spitfire. Go on in. A part of the thing that makes this game fun, viewers, is that they have limited fuel, so they've got a limited time to get down, but they often converge with each other. You won't see much of that today because we I'm usually... to get incredible frame drops. Something to do with the new boat, question mark? Go around, try and stay up burning where you can. Looks like Simba's front gear hasn't come out properly. Even though he would have smacked it, he smacked it. It won't make any difference. Who's in the F5? Poosh. It's hard to land. Yeah. It's the only one I could figure out the hook for now. Yes, Simba. Oh, he's born really quick. Really, really quick. Quicker than you've ever despawned. Not going to do it, is it? Yes, he is. Well done. Oh, Booch is out. Right, so three F-15Es through. Who have we still got airborne? Violet and her frame drop problems. Is there anyone else airborne? Bird. Oh, my goodness. There's a big end. Yes, there is. There is a big end, Bird. Well, she won't be using the wires, if that helps. Which she probably won't. Oh, and she just blew into the water. Okay, Bird. No clue what just happened there. My entire screen froze. Violet with tech problems going on there. Come on, Bird. Come on, Bird. Oh, man. Gutted. Right, how much fuel have you got, Bird? 17, 1,700. It's legal to carry on. Guys, I think he's landing too early. What do you think? Uh, I think he's coming in a little fast. What speed are you coming out in that bird? That was about 160, 170. It was about right, Simba. Uh, he was 180 until about 100 foot. I mean, that, yeah, but that thing goes, he needs to land faster, doesn't it? Well, I think it's new. Nope. Uh, that, that fuel load, it can touch down at 140. All right. Well, I think you're landing early anyway. But. I remember doing this once on the main carrier, the bigger carrier, and I remember having to do a shallower approach. But. Roger. Um, as we've got time to fill, Matrix, you may uh, entertain us with an exhibition landing from the uh, Mozzie, but it won't affect the competition. Okay. Now mosquito overtake me on final. <laughs> right, <laughs> you watch it crash in Dina. Simba, I'm guessing the USAF hooks aren't as strong as the Navy hooks. Well, I don't need to guess, I'm sure that's right. Do you reckon in real life they would snap if you did this? Because they don't have the massive give that the airfield uh, wires have. Uh, the, the F-15 hook is pretty robust. The F-16 hook is, it is just for like an arresting cable on a runway. Um, the F-15's bigger problem is just the, the landing gear. Yep. Oh, slightly off that time, but... It comes Matrix for an extra exhibition landing in the Mosquito. If this works, I'll eat my hat. And I'm not a big hat uh, eater, guys. I think you'll have to eat your hat, because I think he's just going to stand on the brakes and kind of do a no-stop. No 
I'm not wearing a hat anyway and I don't have a hat but if I did great landing got it perfect but you're doing 120 miles an hour Simba there's no way of stopping 10 yeah, tons yeah you can't of, stop by that <laughs> 10 tons of wood nah not gonna happen well do you want me to try an A10 for the lols cap uh yeah as an exhibition um careful not to blow the carrier up ah uh, I won't know in that case <laughs> Yeah, go for it. F-16 for its 20 millionth time. I think for the mosquito, it's mosquito, you need 60 knots over deck wind. It's a heavy plane. Probably heavier than F-16. Poor old bird. Oh. Yep, just bounced over the cables. Even six minutes, bird. Nope, maybe right. not. Right the <laughs> oh, he's out. Right, that's the last official contender. We'll just let this guy exhibition land, whoever it is. Oh no, is that Mike? Yeah. Now this is a real landing. This because he's uh, he's just got his computer working right. Real landing, guys. Who wouldn't want a bright red? Uh, bit by. Uh, red up there. Apparently, the UK tried to sell Harrier GR ones to the Argentinian Navy before the Falklands for their carrier. Ah, huh, that would have been awkward, right? Right. Yeah, we do like selling stuff to the Argies. Until they got themselves banned from the world, which is pretty much what they've done now. So they were a naughty boy. They were a naughty boys, weren't they? They would have had a hard time maintaining them, I think. Mm hmm. Watched an interesting uh, series the other day about the guy who purchased the eight Exocet missiles from France that they used against us. And it was all done like backhanders and stuff. On squirrel, chop it, and do something amazing. I don't know how, but just do something amazing. Not amazing enough. It's impossible. Ah. It's hard enough on a super carrier. Guys, I'm going to go through to the next round. I'm happy to put Matrix uh, Violet through. But I just don't want to wait for her, basically, because it's gonna, it will take her 20 minutes to get in. Welcome back. Round two. The same as before, but we now have a 30 to 60 knot, depending on altitude, crosswind left to right. Uh, we've put Violet through because she's having some tech problems and we didn't want to wait. Other than that, off we go, guys. Okay, watch this go wrong. Oh, I can feel that wind, guys. Right, I'm going to need to feel the wind with my finger, so I'm going to have to take my canopy off this time. Yep, I can feel that wind. Gear down, flaps down, hook down. Configured. Okay, first problem identified. The velocity vector is now off my screen. How to solve? Unknown. Is there a re uh, hard to recage? Does anyone know, guys? Probably wouldn't help you much. All right. Yeah, this wind is a lot worse than I thought. Viewing from Wilmington. I mean, if the boat is off the side of the HUD, you won't get the uh, velocity vector in the HUD. Yep, this is really hard, guys. I've added turbulence in as well. It's the ship rocking. The damn ship rocking. Oh my god, and power, power, power. Yes! Yay! Hey. Ewington, Wooington, Booingtons! I literally did a thing. Right. I am happy with that. Uh, Simba, you're in next, and I'm going to ride as your front guy. I have no idea how to hand it over to you, by the way. Okay, I've let you in. What do I do now? Uh, just put us in a quick orbit. Yep. Okay. Are you in control? Your air brake is out. I've not I done anything control. else. Air brake is out. Right, this is not me flying, uh, uh, viewers. This is 100% Simba. Can you put the air brake back in? Am I? Yes, I can. Give me gear down, full flap. Okay, gear down. Full flaps. Do you want to hook? Stop at the hook down. Oh, uh, I've got the hook down. You have indeed, Simba Wimba. Right, she's configured. Land the aeroplane. I don't know how you're going to see anything because all you can see is the back of my beautiful head. Ah, Cap, mm -hmm. if you hit your uh, modal on your one of your MFDs, it will have the M button, right? Yep. And the top, you'll see HUD. Okay. And again, you will see CAM in the top right. Where did this come from? How does that work? Where, where's the camera? It's right in front of your face. That little uh, round thing at the bottom of your HUD. You're watching through the Glass. HUD camera. Does anyone know about that? Huh. 
Apparently not, viewers. We've all learned a thing today. He's flying from this little weird drone 480 by 480 pixel drone view. I'll give you that. It's pretty impressive. I've lost all respect for Simba. I thought he was doing it by looking at the back of your head and mm -hmm. seeing how much you're panicking. Right. I thought he was doing it by the feel of the wind on his face. Well, with this crosswind, right. it's going to be a little feel. Simba has 100% underestimated the cross, uh, cross speed. Crosswind viewers. That's a big crosswind. You could never land a. You'd never be land. Land. Uh, God's sake, my boys. You would never be able to land a strike eagle in a 40 knot crosswind in real life, would you, Matrix? I wouldn't think they would let them. Uh, well, not on a boat, but at an right, airfield. Right, yes. you to, yeah, you would. Really? Wow. Yeah, I mean, the nice thing is you can turn the boat into wind, so you don't have to have a crosswind. All right, all right. Stand corrected, viewers. I'm just surprised that y'all still have the canopy on. Oh, the Simba's concentrating, I think. Oh, that's in caps control. I'm not going to do it, so quick enough. Simba. Oh, Simba. <laughs> from the rear seat through the friggin 1980s gun cam oh my goodness man nice you just got internet points and possibly extra internet girlfriends which are very important why for Simba all the way back up again all right. yep all right guys yeah. give me an internet semi I don't know what you have to exit <laughs> the plane still cap I don't know how to beat that uh I'll have but uh matrix sorry matrix go I'm not gonna lie the crosswind helps a little bit because I can actually look out the side of the canopy <laughs> um <laughs> yeah right I'm pretty sure they didn't design it for that but all right then what's uh, interesting to watch here in this medium wind setting for GR landings is the Vinticinto de Mayo is pitching way more than the Nimitz beside it. Oh, is it? I guess that's because of the weight, right? Well, I don't know. Yeah. I don't, don't know jack about boats, so don't quote me on that, viewers. But yeah, there you go. Via de Santo de Mayo. It's got lots of spinny dishes. Viente Cinco, wouldn't it be if they were correct Espanol? Um, si. Oh. It's also amazing the height difference of the Nimitz compared to the right. Viente Cinco. Right. I wonder why that is. I'm guessing they just Smaller need more, boat again. more hangar space. I wonder if it's... I don't know. Look at that crab angle, viewers. He's done this before. Oh! He's not recovering from that! Gonna work. He's not recovering from that! Wow. So what happened there? I don't know what happened wing. there. I saw oh, you right. lose a wing. The wing just fell off, Matrix. I think Ooh. they've got some funky modelling on these wings that once they hit a certain amount of stress, they just fall off. And obviously, yeah. maybe Carrier just upsets that. Right. Oh, there you go. Violet, it's all you, baby. All right, while we're waiting for Violet, question. Why even bother putting, like, five... There's, like, three, four, five lifeboats that can carry, what, 200 people? Why even bother doing that when you've got, like... I don't know, a thousand people on this carrier, I'm guessing? So, I think those cylinders uh, on the back of the boat are life rafts that just automatically drop and deploy. Roger, noted. Whoa, whoa, Cap, you assume anything other than the top brass is right? gonna... Right? <laughs> I thought that. ...be saved. It's the officer's, it's, really, I mean, it's the officer's boat. It's got cheese and port in there. Those are some fancy lifeboats too, it looks like. Right, I would love to own uh, one of those lifeboats. It's friggin' awesome. Well, viewers, only three weeks now until uh, the GR air show, as in the real life GR air show. If you want to come, Aria Fairford on the 16th, I think, of July. It's on the Saturday, anyway, Saturday. GR's all meeting up for a big thing, and anyone's welcome. Bring cheese and port, ideally. Come on, Violet. Come on, Violet. Fame doom awaits you. Oh, no, that's too small. Too small. Violet's out. Right, that's just me and Simba through to round three. Round three, crosswind, 60 to 120 knots, 70 to 140-ish miles an hour. You definitely wouldn't be allowed to land an F-15 in this wind. Um, off I go, I guess. I'm in multiplayer, aren't I, guys? Oh, Jesus Christ. No, you're not. Am I on single player? No, I'm good. I'm good. No, you aren't. Oh my God, I forgot what button to press. I'm nervous. Nervous viewers. Right, how are we gonna do this? I believe I have to do some kind of thing. Well, the velocity vector is definitely going to be on for the HUD this time, guys. Hook. Check. Gear. Check. 
flaps. Oh, that is a um, manual. Do you even need a hook with this much crosswind? What's that, Poosh? They say the manual says you can cage your velocity vector with the left multi-function control button. Yeah, if the uh, velocity vector is flashing at the edge of your HUD, the level, the pitch, where it is in pitch is okay. It's yeah. just saying it's off the screen sideways, but yeah. level-wise it's alright. The angle viewers, look at that flight angle. Do you need an hors d'oeuvre to do a thing, Cap, or are you just going to do the thing anyway? I think I might just do it, to be honest. No, 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 wait, I do need an hors d'oeuvre. Uh, Cap, do a thing, mm. that's an hors d'oeuvre. Right, I wasn't going to do it before, but I guess I'll do it now, guys. Right, hook, check, gear, check, flaps, check. Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot, guys. Oh, silly me. I'm getting old, guys. Yeah, this is stupid, by the way. That canopy nearly took your tail off. Mm -hmm. That's a USAF maintainer problem, not a supercap problem. Okay, pitch up again, there it goes. No, 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 no don't Wait pitch up now. It's going to be pitching down probably when you're on the final. Oh, God. This is horrendous. Don't, don't. And it's going to be coming back up. <laughs> Ow! Balls. Almost. I yeah. think I know what the issue was for you, Cap. Yes, Ma uh, not Matrix, Violet. Simba, go. You didn't remove your canopy soon enough. Oh, yeah, possibly. All right, Simba's that off. That was really unlucky timing. The boat just started to bow the boat, come back uh, up. You know why that just was? As you were coming I, up. I was naughty. I skipped church this Sunday. So, yeah, that'll be why, viewers. Don't skip church. Again, it's funny to watch the the intersection fiction sway compared to the, the limits. Right, well, I'm guessing a smaller boat gets chucked around more, right? Well, but the uh, after the flight deck was underwater on short final for you. Um, yeah, you're not doing this, Simba. Are you doing it from the rear again? Of course. Right. About to pitch you back up now. Go on, Simba. Oh, look at that. Oh, come on. He's chasing it down. He's chasing it down. Stay on. Oh, dang it. It's too hard. All right, viewers. Unfortunately, we've reached our skill limit at that point. It is getting really hard. Bearing in mind, these are, it's not like landing a Hornet. This is a big, fat F-15 with tiny little F-15 wings. It's really hard. So how about we continue with exhibition style, guys? Let's just start spawning and see who can land something with a 60 to 100 knot crosswind on Bientes in Guadameo. Uh, choose your beast. I'm gonna go for, no, again, there's no naval planes here. I'm actually gonna go for a warbird because surely we can use the crosswind, guys. Am I talking BS? I am talking BS. I'm going for a flanker. What's the wind across the deck right now? Uh, it's, it's somewhere between 60 and 120, I would guess about 80 uh, knots. I'm gonna bring a 16 in first time. Of course you are, Simba. Of course you are, my love. One, one variation on this is to have the wind straight down the deck at 70 knots. So you get the pitching of the boat, but you wouldn't get the crosswind. Gotta remember, GR, always do it the hardest way possible. Which is why we fail so much. But the viewers appreciate it, guys. Kind of, sometimes. Most of the time not. Gear out. Flaps down. Where are you, Simba? Oh, visual. Very huh. short. Simba's doing a thing. Apparently he's very short. <laughs> Whoever designed Flanker without a velocity vector needs their friggin' knob sticking somewhere because it's a stupid idea. You are falling out of the sky, Simba. You son of a bitch! He caught the wire, but he went over the edge. Oh, wee. That was actually quite impressive. Simba on form today. All right, big 20 ton Flanker. Let's see what you got. What Mama Song got? Supercap. Squirrel, it's going to take you 45 minutes just to get to the boat. Supercap, best cap. Oh my god, where's the brake? Please! No! Yeah! No! Yeah! <laughs> Supercap, 100% the best cap on the internet right now. Look at that. I'm staying there. You can all suck my fat one. I'm staying. <laughs> Look at that, viewers. This <laughs> guy. My nose keeps dipping under the freaking water. I do need a salt bath. My wife tells me I'm very smelly. There is definitely a right and a wrong time to catch the pitch of the day. Oh, right. Aussie coming in. Achtung Spitzboyer coming in. Huh, is that a... Uh... Frogfoot? Why not? 
My name's Ryan, guys. For my next party trip, Kat, I intend to uh, get pulled backwards off the carrier. Okay. Spitfire down. Spitfire down indeed. Don't bop me, Mike. Don't you bop me. Oh, I nearly bopped, but not quite. Right, we've got a Spitfire down. Let's get some more beautiful boys. One times mosquito. Beetle dip. That's a that's a mosquito down. Wheel break down. On. Words. Right, we've got two down now, guys. The deck's getting cluttered. I just checked my ground speed. 25 knots. Um, there's a Spitfire flying sidewards, viewers. Why wouldn't you want that? Spit is friggin' sidewards. So you symbol wimber. Uh, negative. I'm gonna come in a mirage and pop the chute right over the center of the boat. Oh, spit took a dip. Plus too much speed. Frog took a dip. The mirage is doing well. I think I'll join you in the A10 score. <laughs> There's no room in the cockpit. Awkward. No, but there's another A10. Chalk, oh, chalk, gotcha. power. There we go. Yeah, I'll we'll stay there, Simba. That's three on the boat. Three on the boat. They didn't give you a Can grade. Give me some generic Top Gun LSO commands, please, to help me. Um, by the Gaway? I don't know. I don't know, Milson. Uh, that's my plan. Deck is foul, but good luck. Yeah, uh, don't worry cap. about that. Mm? Uh, I can't seem to remember how to put this drag chute back in. I guess it stays there then, Zimba. You can use it as a buffer to stop the A-10, right? Fire yeah. the gun and kill the... Tr oh, no. Oh, no. Huh. Well, let's maybe hope now. He shot himself off the carrier. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Oops. Should have left it. Oh, Matrix. Join Andrew's me. finally... Oh, no. Ah, right. Andrew's finally Quite. arrived. You go, the problem is you guys are trying to veto it, and it's the wind's not enough for that. 70 knots is too... Not enough for veto it. You've got to land it. There's all the all scrap on the deck which gets in the way. All right, come on then, guys. Let's have another go. I'd like to see you do a Spitfire cap. <laughs> all right. I proved otherwise cap with a huge amount of luck and zero skill. All right. That's what I usually get by on. Hispano's armed and ready for recoil mode. Wow, I'm not a shotgun. I'm freaking quite this wind in this bit. Most of my time was spent literally going sideways. Squirrel, did you manage to land in your A-10? Uh, I did, but then I um, had already decided I was going to trigger the galley and flew me back off the, back the boat. It's, you know, it's a GR video. 320 miles an hour. Supercap definitely best cap at the moment. Yeah, it looks like I don't have any galley ammo. <laughs> oh, I know whose problem cap would say that is. Uh-huh. Right, guys? Who's smoking? Oh, it's a guy it's out, Russian man. jet. Five and eight ten, but I've lost sight of you. Um, about four carrier lengths from it. Oh my god, I just caught sight of it! Cap going around. I'm 100% was an A10 there, viewers. Ooh. Somebody took a swim. They did. Man, fighting in this win must be so much fun IRL as long as you had really good life insurance. Really good life insurance, guys. Really good policy. Hey, ten down. Well done, no, stay there. No, 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 no. Embarrassing for you, Squirrel. I'm using you as a break. I'm using yes, you as a break. thank you. We, we stopped each other. Was that you, Bird? Um, yep. all right. Thank you, Bird. Stay there, because I'm going to need a break. What were you in, Bird? <laughs> Spitfire. Achtung, Spitfire. Spitfire and an eight ten. Well, there's a... Is that you in the mosquito cap? Nope. Matrix. Oh god, this is gonna get real weird. It's gonna get weird, Simba. Something we do, weird. Never. Nicely done, Matrix. Come on, Simba. Yeah, good one, mosquito. Nice one. Recoil. Recoil. No. Use the bridge. No. No. Yes. Yeah. Super cap. Why did it just say Matrix Mosquito damaged? I don't think may have happened. All right. Uh, something, something. 
third how's your view upside down all the blood's in my head instead of your big wang <laughs> correct oh. and a monotone <laughs> 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 all right guys we've got four down let's see if we get all six down at once Surely that account is discrimination, discriminating because Bird has such a, you know... Um, giant wang. I have two joysticks, where normally people have one. Right? <laughs> Only one's a wing-wing, the other's a wang-wang. Oh, of course, <laughs> Simba's, of course Simba's chosen a low-lift, high-speed, 1950s Russian aircraft. Ladies and gentlemen, Simba. Oh, and he doesn't have a parachute, by the way. What does it? No, he doesn't. Just notice, Cap, this aircraft carrier has got both holes. Can you not... Yes, it does. Use those to slow people down. Tempting. At least, um, your fuel spill there, Squirrel, is giving everyone the wind direction. <laughs> you chose the wrong plane, Simba. The wrong frigging plane. Oof! How? Oh How? Oh, no. He sledded it. He sledded it. Poor Pooch. He tries so hard, but he just ends I up mean, flipping somebody around. somebody had to give it a try. Here comes Violet. Your be your be your oh, someone just blew up. Oh, the A10 finally decided it didn't want to live anymore, and now that? it put me on fire. There's a lot of Gawait <laughs> rings rounds to blow up. You're on fire, bird. Um, my wing wang. Your giant wang wang's on fire. <laughs> Ouch. Have we had an SU-27 down yet? Yep. Not too slow, Violet. You will still. The Jeff has a uh, drag shoot, so that'll that's probably got a high likelihood. You watch a stool now. VTOL A10. Oh, it just blows up. The F15 just blows up. That was annoying, guys. Yeah, it's not, not robust enough, really. Simba, not happy with the 1950s low drag, high speed Mirage. I mean, MIG has gone for the even higher speed, lower lift. 1970s Mirage. I just thought every plane should deserve its chance, Cap. But you and your equal opportunities or whatever's fashionable nowadays, I forgot. I've never seen an A10 do this kind of approach. <laughs> no, it's perfectly normal, Father. Perfectly normal. I think the trick is kind of pull your engines at the last minute and pop a little flare. Is there a hook in the uh, Sukhoi 20? Did you say pop a little flare? Negative. Um, uh, as in, lift your nose up. Not. Come your bow. I caught what you were trying to say, Violet. You've been burning for so long, uh, Bird. What could still be flammable in there? All my fat. <laughs> he's honest. Honesty is always important. Go wait, go wait, go wait, go wait, go wait. Violet doesn't friggin' need go wait. Well done, Violet. Right, you stay there. All right, no more spawning, guys. Last go, let's see who we can get on this son of a bee. Here comes Simba in the friggin' lawn dart. You know, the one with no lift. Or chance of landing on an aircraft carrier. Oh, I'm underwater. Don't Shoot. you bonk me! Don't you bonk me! Oh, nah, no. doesn't work, Simba. Too fast. Too buku. Right, you're out, Simba. I never thought I'd ask this, but can I use your body? Um, Sure. <laughs> My body is very sure. lightweight and spindly. Use uh, Violet's, it's much more rugged. Although you will pop her off the edge and she'll get all angry in 1950s on your ass. Let um, me say that like it's a thing. I don't know. I don't know what I meant by it. Just bring it in at 115 knots. 100% convergence going on here, guys. Don't forget, uh, Flanker, you've got a parachute. Press the P button when you're over the carrier. Wingstop, wingstop. Hey, ah. last man now. What's up with him? Oh my Cobra. god! Cobra. Parachute, 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 parachute! Press the parachute button! Goddamn VR users! It drives me nuts. Matrix furiously smashing his keyboard that you can't see. My viewers! Correct. I have no idea what we were doing there. We were doing something about Biento Cento de Mayo, um, and no one won because we're not good enough. So go and land in a 90 knot crosswind in an F-15E. But I think we had some fun. May have made some friends. Definitely made some enemies. So is a GR vid. Anything to add valued pilots? Thoroughly Doesn't enjoy. Count unless you do it from the back seat. Pilot, take off. 
So the last thing you viewers want to see. Yes, that is, his, that is his life motto, guys. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> How flaccid. Oh, close.